Okay, welcome back everybody. Very excited to show you the new board here. This is the Shorty with the tracks. Um, these are 90 millimeter tracks, so any foil is gonna fit right into these, no problem. This is a great little board. It's a very easy build if you're here to build it yourself. I'm going to be taking you through the steps one at a time, very simple to do. You're just going to need a razor blade and some sandpaper, and that'll get the job done. So just taking a closer look here at the tracks, you can see that they are, they will come epoxied in to this plate here. Uh, this is just to give that depth and to give it that strength that it's going to need for the foil. Everything is really smooth going around the whole thing, so glass is just going to flow nice and smooth. No need to fill anything, no tricky spots on this board. Up towards the front, and it's probably a feature that you're not going to be able to see in any pictures or on the camera, but there is a nice concave here. Starting from about right here, it sweeps down and comes to the very front of the board, the widest right here. So that'll just give a little bit of stability when it's on the water. Once it's out of the water, obviously it's not going to do anything, but just a cool little feature that's added to the front. And now looking down the top, you can see it's just a flat deck. It looks great when it's all epoxied. Um, it's just a great little platform for your feet. And these wooden boards, I love them because they're durable. You can bang them up, you can ding them up. I've had some foam boards, very delicate, very annoying. You almost don't want to use them because you're, you're worried about getting them damaged. That's why I love glassing up these little wooden boards. So our first step when it comes to glassing this up is just going to be tape over the tracks. You can see I've already done this one here. And I'm going to do the other one. So grab some masking tape, place it down. Really work the edges in so the tape is really sticking very nicely. And then just take a sharp razor and you can faintly make out the outline of the track and we're just going to lightly press down on the tape cut along the side and as you see that allows for a real nice trim so now we're going to get just both of the ends Okay, well now I'm just going to double check. And now these slots are nice and covered up. That way we're not gonna get any epoxy going down into those as we build along. All right, so I've moved the board into the room where I do all my glass work. And the first order of business is you can see that there are some small gaps here. Now these may or may not be here. These are epoxied in, but there might be just a couple little areas where epoxy did not squeeze all the way out. So we can see there's some here on these ends as well, and the same thing is here. Really not a big deal, it's just before we get into glassing up the board, I'm just going to take a little bit of epoxy and carefully pour it in these areas just to fill those up. Okay, so I have some epoxy mixed up and I'm just going to fill in those areas that we mentioned. Now it's really not going to be much and it does not have to be perfect because we're going to wet out the glass that we put above this in a second. So as long as I can just get the groundwork done here, that'll make it easier when I go to do that. With that being done, I'm going to start with the first of two little patches that we're going to be putting over this area. I'm just going to do them both at the same time. Very simply, just lay them down. And wet out the glass. So I now just put down my big layer of fiberglass that's going to cover the whole board. Of course, I've been using my little squeegee cut out of cardboard, and I have my epoxy here. And now I'm just going to wet out the entire board 
and start squeegeeing out. Now normally I would pour a big line of epoxy going down the middle of the board and then squeegee my way to the edges, but I have the camera here, so that makes it a little difficult to do. But I'm just going to work my way around the board, making sure that all of this cloth gets nice and saturated. All right, so just taking a quick look here, everything is glassed up nicely. A couple of air bubbles here on the tape, that's expected not much of an issue so everything on this board has really nice curves to it so the glass sh the glass will lay out extremely easy you can see here that these transitions are, are very easy to put the glass on and up at the front too periodically it might be a good idea just to take your finger and make sure that this glass is still firm the one area you want to watch out for is just right here in the front because to get this to hug this curve there needs to be just a little bit of slack in the glass if I were to pull hard on this glass up here or pull on this glass going this way you will see the glass bridge this transition so you just have to come back here and place that down so that's just the one little area just to be mindful of but besides that all the glass is down and I just have this glass hanging I didn't lap it you don't have to if you want to completely lap it like you see some surfboard guys do you can do that as well okay so this has been curing for a little bit it's not fully cured this fiberglass is still just slightly tacky and it's at the perfect stage now where we're going to want to trim out the fiberglass that is now covering the tracks because if we let it fully cure then it's going to be a lot harder to do this step. You might have to go in there with some sort of cutting bit to get rid of the glass, or it might just take you a lot of time with a razor blade. But if you get the timing right, you can get in there with a blade and very easily cut out the glass. So I'm just going to carefully trim out along the tape line. So you can see how it kind of just lifts right up. I could have probably waited a little bit longer. I'm getting some strands there. But this is so much easier than waiting for it to fully cure and then having to do this process. All right, so both of those are out. Everything's nicely trimmed. Now I'm just going to let it fully cure. Okay, so having a look here, that top side is completely cured up. And I just went ahead with the razor knife and gave the glass a quick trim. And now there's some slight edges here. So I'm just going to take some sandpaper, sand those down, make everything smooth, and then it's gonna be time to glass this top side. Very easy to do here. I believe this is 80 grit. Just kinda get in there. So just a quick tip. If you don't have to do this, but it really helps if you get some masking tape and then just place it going around the entire board. So you can see that this is mostly on the bottom side. Most of the rail of the board is exposed so we can get a nice double layer wrap going around the whole thing. Now this allows you to take that next layer of glass, wrap it around the edge of the board and tuck it up onto the tape and that way when that is cured or close to cured, you can peel back this tape and then run a razor blade going along the tape line. And that'll give you a very clean and consistent cut line for your next layer, which just makes sanding so much easier. Otherwise, you can sometimes get a bunch of drips kind of going along the whole rail. And then you have to go in there and sand each one of those down manually. So this really just helps with the time and the finish. Again, it's not necessary, but it's definitely a huge help. So just another angle of that, these are the front corners. Not perfect, but just get it close and that will do more than enough. And then down the back here as well, you can see same process going on. See, that's not exactly perfect right there, but that's not the end of the world. It's still gonna help out tremendously.
So I now have this top layer of glass laid on the board and I gave it a pretty close trim here. And this is just a nice tip. So this is the front corner of the board. And so I just put this little slice in there and that'll really help wrap it around this corner when we get to it. You can do it without the slice, but it can get a little tricky. Sometimes it might fold. Um, so if you put it in there beforehand, definitely a huge help. Okay, so I'm doing, I have my logo underneath there. That's probably something you guys won't be doing, but in case you're curious, it's rice paper with the logo printed on there and it just turns translucent and clear once you wet it out. So I'm just going to pour a big line of epoxy right down the center of the board. And then using the squeegee, start from the center and just work my way out. Just get the cloth saturated. So I like to focus on just getting the top nice and saturated and once we see that all that is covered, I'll then start working some epoxy out to the edges and get it flowing onto that glass and just soak it through a little bit and then you can come in and tuck it under as you go along. Alright, so that's all laid up very nice. Everything's looking even. You can see the edges are nice and wrapped. They're at least wrapped down to the tape line. So that's right where I want it. The corners are looking great. And so as this starts to cure up, I will once again come in with the razor blade and trim along that tape line and then let everything fully cure. So I just trimmed the edges of the side that we just did, gave the edges a nice sand, and now I'm ready to put a gloss coat on the top of this board. And just as we did before, um, you're going to want to cover up these slots. So you can do that. So to cover up the slots, just take a piece of tape, just as we did before, get it into position there and then come in with a knife and you'll be able to see the outline of this very easily so it doesn't come unstuck as we put the gloss coat on. So I'm going to put the gloss coat down on the bottom side and just as I've taped up these slots I also have done some tape along the bottom here same as before, this is just going to allow for a nice clean line and make the cleanup process easier. So I'm just going to double check that this tape is nice and secure, which it is. And now I'm just going to start by pouring epoxy all around the board. No real particular order at first, just get that epoxy all over the board relatively even. So I have epoxy mostly even on the board and now I'm just going to start by doing a cross hatch pattern. Cover the entire board going this way. Gentle over the tape here. Once I get all the way down the board, then I'm going to do the same pattern, but coming from the other direction. And once I complete the cross hatch, then I'm just going to start from the center and just gently take an easy pull down the entire length of the board here. Come back the other way as the final smooth out 
And once I do this, I'm going to sit and let the board settle. And I will come back periodically and maybe make sure that there's not a lot of drips on the edge. Probably before you leave the board to sit and cure, really make sure you check those edges. If you see drips and puddles starting to, to form on the edges, it's best to get them now as opposed to later. So that gloss coat is nice and hard and you can now see the result of that. Now I'm just going to come in here with a knife and start to get the tape out of the boxes. So what I'm also going to do is get rid of this tape along the edge. And it's very easy. All right, so just as we did before, I flipped this board over. I have taped around the bottom perimeter. Now I'm just going to lay down the epoxy and then gently brush it out. So as you can tell, that layer is on, everything's looking good, and we're just going to let that cure. So that gloss coat that we last put on is now cured and everything's looking fantastic. If you like, a shiny finish like this, then you're pretty much good to go. There's still a slight tape line going down the edge, um, but you can just take some light sandpaper, this is 120, and just lightly knock that down, and then your board's good to go, nice and shiny. I'm gonna go for a sanded finish, so I'm gonna put a little water on this board, and then start sanding it. That's It's called wet sanding, it just, uh, it just really, helps the sanding process. So that's what I'm going to do, and then this board is gonna be completely finished. So I'm going to start with 120 grit, and so to wet sand, I mean, just put a little bit of water on, and then just start sanding. And what the water does is it carries the dust away. It, it keeps epoxy dust from clogging up your sandpaper. And so that allows you to just get much better sanding um, a lot easier than if you were to sand without wet sanding. So it's a nice tip to know. Once I'm done with the 120, I'll step up to 300 and at that rate, I like the finish of the board, so I'll stop at 300. But you can sand all the way up to 1000 grit if you want. At that point, you'll be starting to get a shine back and it will be more like a polished finish. Okay, so I just went through that sanding process. You guys saw a little bit of it there. And the whole board's smooth. It feels really nice all over. All the edges are completely clean and smooth. And you can see here that it's pretty easy to end up with a very nice and simple hydrofoil board that has some tracks on there to give you some adjustment in your foil placement. I weighed this and it came out to six and a half pounds which isn't bad, um, you know, considering it's solid wood, it's, this thing's rock, rock solid. It's not gonna, it's not gonna get dented. It's not gonna get scratched. That top layer of glass isn't gonna break through on you, unlike a lot of the other foam boards. So it has its advantages. It's a very clean, great looking board. So I hope you guys enjoyed the build process there. It's pretty easy to do. It's very rewarding doesn't take much tools, also doesn't take much time. You're just really glass in one side, glass in the other, finish coat, sand, and then off to the water it goes.